hello everyone and welcome back to my channel if you haven't subscribed go ahead and do that now and don't forget to thumbs up this video if you like it and leave a comment if you have any questions this video is going to be a little bit different than other videos that i've done before and it is an iphone 7 plus unboxing video so um yes i'm about to be well i am officially team iphone now i was um, team Samsung Android or whatever and I had a Note 7 and unfortunately they were defective so I ended up trading mine in for a 7 iPhone 7 plus so let's get started and by the way this is um, it's rose gold clearly and it is a 128 gig and um, yeah all right so I actually bought this phone two days ago and I have used it but just for the sake of this video I did not take the plastic off I'm like I'm gonna do this unboxing video so you guys could get an unbox truthfully unboxing video as possible so there you go I did that for y'all so as you open there is this little package in front designed by Apple California blah 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 that doesn't even matter but yeah so you take that out and there's your iPhone still with the plastic on it Finally, I can take the plastic off. <laughs> Yay! Look how beautiful it is. So, there we go. So, alright, I'm gonna move the camera down so that you guys can see everything that's in the box instead of looking at my gorgeous face. <laughs> One second. So let's do a little replay. Well, forget that plastic part. As you open the box, you see and feel white paper. <laughs> Just kidding. But yeah, okay, you take your iPhone out and take the plastic off. And here you have the charger uh, adapter, I believe it's called, or block or whatever you want to call it. And then you have your headphones. This is how the headphones look looks and then this is the back of it so the only thing that's different from the uh, past iPhones is that let me open it the um, the end of it is different and this is what it looks like it's basically the same thing as like the charger so see here there's no actual I mean, there's no actual earphone jack there's just um, this part here which is the same thing as where the charger is so yeah, this is not that big of a deal. And then this right here, if you uh, do have an earphone, um, only have the earphones that has the earphone jack on the end, you can just plug this in and then connect it to here. And then listen to your earphones. Listen to through your earphones there. But um, yeah. And then in here is the rest of the charger. You can finally take that out. See, I did all this for you guys. I left all this stuff together <laughs> just so that I could do it on camera for this video. <laughs> so, yes, you guys should feel special. <sighs> so, take that off of there. And then this is how long the cord is, if that's something you would want to know. So I would say, let me see if I'm gonna guess, this is about, that's 12, this is like 12. So that's, I would say it's almost 36 inches, it's almost 3 feet, but not quite. More like 2 and a half. So yeah, that's the charger there, the uh, block part that goes to it, and then the earphones. I'm actually probably not even going to use these for a while because I have these earphones that I just had around my neck. I was listening to music through these. These are my um, my LG Bluetooth headphones and you can always use Bluetooth headphones with almost any us. Uh, well, with any smartphone really. 
and then I believe that's it yeah this doesn't come out of the box so <laughs> yeah so let's check her out like I've said before I've had this one for two days so that's why it is the way it is but I like it I used to have an iPhone probably about three or four years ago and I didn't think that I'd be team iPhone again because it's I feel like iPhones are a little limiting more so than Android phones but I still do like Apple phones there's a lot of things about these phones that make them special or whatever but yeah now I have both I have a um, I have a Samsung S7 Edge which I'm recording on right now and then I have this iPhone 7 plus so I got a little bit of both and I'm happy with that so yep so this is what it looks like you can um, press the home button twice and it'll make that make the apps come down because people were complaining that um, they didn't like the size of the iPhone because it was too big but honestly it's not especially coming from a note 7 though but actually this is a little bit bigger than a note 7 which is like crazy but I thought it would be too big as well but it's not that big of a deal and I can hold it in one hand and I can text and type in one hand and I don't have huge hands or anything so and it's like if you want to reach an app up there you can just loosen it up and slide it and then click on it or whatever but um yeah that's that <clears throat> um let's see one thing is I feel like I've gotten used to the Samsung cameras and I feel like they're a lot different than iPhones because um, I don't know what it is like I don't know I'm still trying to figure it out <laughs> but oh yeah that's how it looks there Now this phone has 128 gigs and I feel like that is like just enough space for me. That's one thing that I um, <laughs> didn't really care for about iPhones is that it's like the space is like limited and then with Androids you can just buy a memory card if your phone, if you ran out of space on your phone. But I'm low-key sounding like I want an Android again, but I don't. I actually do love this phone, and I did love the Note 7, but since all that's been going on with that, I did decide to get this iPhone. Um, so yeah, these are just a few of the apps that I have on my phone. Snapchat, um, YouTube, Pinterest, I love Pinterest, uh, Instagram, blah, blah, blah. See if you barely tap on the home button twice, it'll come down if you don't want to slide your hand up there and click on the button there. <laughs> but yeah, I haven't even really like used that or anything. And then the same if you tap it twice all the way, then the rest of the apps that you had open will open up and then you can close them out like I just did. Um, oh, and then this is an app. This uh, video is not about apps. Sorry, you guys. But, um, <laughs> yeah, so this is what it looks like. It's beautiful. I would recommend this phone so far. And I've kind of gotten over the camera thing because there's like different apps that have cameras that are, well, to me, similar to like an Android or Samsung's camera, which is this app right here, Camera 360. I absolutely love it. You guys can't see that. Anyway, what? So yeah, let's see. So yep, that's this phone. Siri is still alive, yes. All you have to do is hold the home button down and then she comes out looking happy. How are you doing today, Siri? I'm happy to be alive, ha ha ha. Me too, but why is it not talking? What is your favorite color, Siri? Oh, I forgot my headphones are connected. Wait. 
My favorite color is, well, I don't know how to say it in your language. It's sort of greenish, but with more dimension. <laughs> That's funny. What What else should I ask there? Okay. What did you eat for dinner last night, Siri? I used to be on a diet of pure ideology back in the 80s. <laughs> wow, she's a character, isn't she? All right, so yeah, Siri's still alive. <laughs> And yes, yeah, so that's the iPhone 7 Plus. I think they have them in 128 gig, three, 356 or three something. And then they have lower ones as well and whatnot. But um, yeah, so this is the phone. I'm sorry if I'm like hogging it and not really showing you guys. <laughs> But yeah, to the left, you have your weather and stocks and and other uh, news and then the uh, app suggestions and blah, blah, blah with the date above. And then, um, yeah, if you've had an iPhone already, you know <laughs> what it is. It's not that much that's different. Um, what else? Oh, one thing that is different is if you turn it sideways, it'll the screen will rotate and that's I guess they want to make it like a little bit similar to like an iPad a little mini iPad but yeah I never even really used it this way honestly but I don't know so that's that right there so the screen rotates <laughs> and the buttons are still the same on the same size that they were on you can put it on vibrate or silent turn it up turn it down put it on sleep and then it does have like a little different sleep sound and then also when you type let me type something for you guys um my notes new folder g so i'm gonna let you guys hear how the typing sounds hopefully you can hear it So yeah, it sounds a little different than the past iPhones, but I mean, that's just something that's different. It's not like it's something bad about it or anything, but yeah, it just sounds a little different. But yep, that's that. So to conclude this video, like I said before, I would definitely recommend this, this um, iPhone 7 Plus. The size is not too big. It's perfect. I'm a female and I don't have huge hands. My hands are like regular or whatever. And you can still text and use it with one hand and you can also use it with two hands. That's a little bit more helpful or whatever. But um, yes, it's, it's perfect. Like look at it. I love it. I'm in love with it. <laughs> And I'm actually going to be getting me a phone case for it today because I do not want to crack it at all whatsoever. And sometimes, yeah, I can be a little clumsy. So uh, that is your uh, iPhone unboxing slash review or whatever. And these are the items that were in there. And that pretty much concludes this video thanks for watching i know i don't usually do videos like that but thanks for watching and don't forget to like if you like this video comment and let me yeah let me know if you have any more questions and whatnot and i will see you in my next video bye bye thanks for watching